So let's talk about the final part. It's how nutrients are absorbed and used by the body. Now, absorption of nutrients actually take place in the small in the last part of the small intestine, which is called the ileum. Now, in the ileum, there are many, many, many finger-like projections, and these finger-like projections are called villi. That's the plural form of the word. So if you look at the picture here, this is the wall of the small intestine. And these little pink things, which project into the lumen, or the, the hole, rather, or the tube of the small intestine, these are the villi. And what the villi do is they actually increase the surface area of the small intestine so that there is better absorption of nutrients. <coughs> now, if you actually took these, the, the inside of the small intestine, you stretch it all out, it would actually be large enough to cover a football field. So you can imagine that's a really large surface area for absorption. Now, we take a closer look at each of the villus. Now, the villus is the singular form of the word villi. So here is a villus, okay, this thing here. And in each villus, there is a network of blood vessels. So that's this blue and red thing here. And there's also this thing called a lacteal in the center, which is the yellow thing. Now, amino acids and glucose actually pass through the walls of the blood vessels and gets transported by the blood to the liver. So the amino acids and glucose, they get absorbed through these blood vessels here. On the other hand, your fatty acids and your glycerol, they are going to go into the lacteal. So that's what it's going to say in the next slide. So here, fatty acids and glycerol, they pass through the walls of the lacteal. And once they're inside the lacteal, they actually recombine to form fat globules. And the fat globules are transported by something called lymph. And this lymph is carried within your lymphatic system and eventually passes into your bloodstream. Now, we didn't really talk about the digestion of vitamins and minerals, okay? But just so you know that they're absorbed either in the blood vessels or the lacteal. So it really depends which vitamin and mineral it is. So if it's a fat-soluble vitamin, guess where it's going to get absorbed? Yep, that's right. It's going to go into your lymph because... It's fat soluble. It's going to follow the fat. Okay, so the rest will most likely go into your um, blood vessels. Okay, so assimilation of nutrients. Now, the word assimilation basically means how what happens to the nutrients after it gets absorbed. And um, okay, so during its assimilation. Glucose is used by cells to produce energy, and you would have known this from the carbohydrate chapter because the main role of carbohydrates in the body is to produce energy. The next one, amino acids, once they enter cells, they're actually used to produce protoplasm, which is used for growth and repair of the body. So if you have a cell, here's your cell with the nucleus. The amino acids go here. That's the protoplasm, the stuff inside the cell. Okay? Now, amino acids are also used to produce enzymes because enzymes are made of proteins and also hormones. Now, glycerol and fatty acids, they're used for building the cell protoplasm, so they're also used to make the stuff inside the cell, but they also are used for the cell membrane, so that's this thing here. That's what actually gives the cell its shape. Now, what happens to the undigested and unabsorbed materials? So, in the first lesson, I, I showed you, I asked you what happens what actually happens from to that sandwich to turn it into that that lump of brown stuff okay so now we're talking about that brown stuff now the digested food once all the nutrients have been absorbed it passes into the large intestine and here in the large intestine you have undigested food like and stuff such as dietary fiber in the large intestine all the water starts to get absorbed well not all most so once it's traveled through the large intestine and most of the water has been removed, what's left is indigested food residue. And it's known as feces. Please, guys, make sure you spell this right. Don't spell it as faces. And the feces are stored in the rectum. Until that point when you need to go to the toilet. And then it's discharged from the body through the anus. And that's the end of digestion.